Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, so I managed to play an MKB file, an MKB H264 1080p file on Windows Media Player with DXVA and also uh, with the subtitles. So that was you know quite tricky. Uh, so I had to follow follow a couple of uh, you know blogs to do that. First and foremost, you have to download the KLight Mega Codec Pack. I usually go for the mega version because um, you get all the stuff in just one um, you know one pack you get all the necessary codecs and also some extra tools which are useful at times and I'll show you um, what to do with those tools so that's the first step download and install the Klight mega codec pack so you'll get a media player classic home cinema first I'll show you how DXVA works. I'll uh, open the recent file that is this one. Uh, so here is my previous tutorial. But if you see the CPU over here, I mean it hasn't changed much. I'm recording a video. Obviously, I'm recording. I'm making a screencast right now. So it is. It was using this much, you know, around this much CPU. And now I'm playing a 1080p file. As you can see over here, it says DXVA, and uh, it's not really using a lot of the CPU. Uh, I'll just go click on Task Manager and show you over here. MPCHC is using around five percent. Okay, five to ten percent of the CPU because it's a 1080p file, and if it's a 720p high definition X264, that would be around you know two to eight percent. But while actually I was playing the file without making a screencast, the CPU usage was within 0 to 2. Yeah, it was within 0 to 2. Now it's showing around 7% to 11. Okay. Yeah, so um, let me show you over here. Um, go to filters. As you can see over here, it's MPC video decoder. And it says ATI Radeon HD4200. DXVA mode H264 H.264 bitstream decoder, right? Um, and if I click on properties and go to media info, here I get uh, more information about the video. As you can see over here, the dimensions are 1920 to 1080. So here, uh, this is the subtitle actually. Now uh, try to this. You, uh, if you download and install KLight Makeup Correct Pack and if you go to options, internal filters, and select these two uh, transform filters, the DXVA mode will work. But it won't work on Windows Media Player or Windows Media Center. To do that, um, I had to follow this uh, blog. Yeah. So this guy says uh, the Microsoft blah, 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 does pretty good job. Okay. So you need to install this. If you install KLight Mega Codec Pack, it will automatically install Harley Media Splitter. So once you do that, you have to download a standalone version of uh, MPC, a DXVA decoder. Uh, to do that, you just click either on this or this. If it's 64-bit, go to 32-bit, download the uh, download this file. There is a zip file, right? And when you extract it, you'll get MPC VID. E -O -D -E -C dot e -A -X. So you have to copy this file in Windows System 32 and just, you know, um, with elevated uh, privileges, that is, with administrative privileges, you have to just, you know, type this and register this correct. So once you register this correct, you have to choose uh, this uh, utility, which is, which you'll find in um, KLight tools and this is the utility you know win 7 direct show filter tweaker so what just select it uh, select the MPC video DEC wherever you want you want over here VC1 and H.264 press apply and next time when you play a video on Windows Movie make Windows Media Player and Windows Media Center it will actually uh, use DXVA decoder and if you want subtitle, you might want to install the latest version of FFmpeg, FFD Show, FFD Show. Yeah, you have to install the latest FFD Show, 
and you have to use this filter uh, direct show and this is uh, well this is uh, FFD show DXVA and it got an extra option to sub it supports actually it's, it's check the hardware acceleration over here it supports x264 and uh, vc1 and if you choose surface overlay you will get an extra option to actually enable subtitles and uh, yeah you can you know configure the settings over here and I'll just show you first um, I'll give you a where is my file so this is my mp4 file here I've got a subtitle uh, first I'll try to open it with Windows Live Movie Maker come on uh, do you want to see them? No, man. This, yeah. Open with Windows Media Player. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Um, I have to mute that audio. So here, it's is it working? Yeah, it's running on as you can see over here. And uh, you see, check the CPU usage. It's pretty much uh, the same. Pretty much the same. And, um, and what else? I'll just seek. Yeah, it's working. The video is working fine. And it's actually using DXVA to prove that. I have to show you uh, the. Hey, where's the. Where's my 50, a 50 show audio filter? Because if I had that, I would have shown you. Anyways, if you see this, you'll understand. If I go to the task manager, and uh, if you see Windows Media Player, uh, it's using the CPU usage around 2%. It's playing a 1080p file, and CPU usage is around 2%. So you can imagine. Okay, now it's 11%. Anyways, the thing is, the XP is running fine. Now, if you want to support, if you want to support, um, if you want uh, subtitles, for that you have to. You have to launch that utility again. I know it's. I'm going really slow right now, mainly because I'm, maybe I'm sleepy. Time is 12:22 a.m. So you have to select FFD show. Press apply. Apply again. Apply again. And uh, one more thing. You have make sure you disable Media Foundation, right? Anyways, press yes. And now, if I try to play the same file. It will not use the MPC H.264 uh, decoder, but it will actually use uh, FFD show decoder. Here, check this out. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not using. It's actually using FFD show video decoder. Uh, that's weird. Not supposed to use that. It's weird, weird, weird. I had. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to disable this. You have to. Click on a 50 show video decoder configuration and disable H264. Right, press OK, close, and launch it again. Windows Media Player, and this time around, it will use this FFD show. FFD show, yeah, DXVA, and you see the subtitle over here. This is my username, but I just wanted to show you guys that subtitle plus MKV plus H.264 plus DXVA plus Windows Media Player win win. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you face any problem, you can obviously post down, post below. I'll go revert back to my original settings. Um, see you next time. Slow on it.